Hi guys, um, so I'm here today to review for you, do a first impression review for you for the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline. Um, this is the matte, uh, matte and poreless um, foundation. It is in the um, formula for normally to oily, normal to oily skin. There is an also a formula for normal to dry skin. Um, I tend to get oily in my T-zone, so um, I got the normal to oily skin. Um, and it is, I am the shade, um, Warm Honey for the liquid, and then I have the pressed powder, which is in the shade Sun Beige. So, um, we'll just jump right into it and start with the, uh, liquid. It does come with this little, like, bottle. You have to kind of try and get that out. I don't really like to do that. I've been getting spoiled with my current foundation. It has this doe foot easy applicator. But we'll see. That should be about enough. And I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. This is supposed to have medium, got medium to full coverage, so um, we will see about that. So there is the foundation. Um, I do feel like it covers pretty well. Uh, not quite matte, uh, but not too bad. A little bit dewy. So let's um, go in with the powder. It comes with one of those sponge applicators that I don't ever use. I always throw them right out, so this one's already gone. And that's what the powder looks like. And then it has like a mirror that you can kind of flip up. So the powder and this little mirror, and that's usually where the sponges, but it's on the floor somewhere. I don't know. I'm going to use my powder brush that I usually use, and I'm going to get some of that. And just buff that into the top of that, and this is definitely, I can tell, already mattifying my foundation, so... Yay, that. All right, and there we have it for the powder. So um, it definitely did mattify my skin. Uh, I guess the true stuff will see if it lasts um, matte to the end of the day. So uh, I will update you guys at the end of the day and tell you um, how it wore and everything else. So um, I've been wearing this um, foundation all day, and I think it's um, stayed pretty well. It did at one point kind of settle into my smile lines, but um, that was like right after I wore it and I hasn't had any problems since. Um, so I think the coverage is still pretty good. Um, I did get up at 3 in the morning to put this on and I've been wearing it since then, so dark circles are definitely not its fault. I just need sleep. Um, I do also want to though uh, give a mentioned that it was only $7.99. I don't know if I said that before, but it was $7.99 for both foundation and the powder. Um, I also, I got them at Ulta and it was buy one get one half off. So I think that was a really good price for those. Um, I do have a little bit of shine here, so it didn't really say that matte, but um, I just want to give a shout out to a, the lipstick I'm wearing. It's also um, by Maybelline. It is Rich Ruby in their matte um, line. This is what it looks like. And um, I have been wearing that also, eating and drinking. I ate pizza and, you know, it's still there. So um, it doesn't, it hasn't really felt like it's dried my lips out. It still feels kind of like I can move it around a little bit when I mush my lips together. I think so. So um, I feel like that's really stayed um, really well. Uh, let me know if you've tried out um, this foundation and what you think about it down below. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on um, Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and Snapchat. Link those accounts below. And uh, if you like this look, I also have a video that will be coming out soon. This is my all my Maybelline um, drugstore look. So keep an eye out for that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.